Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Dewan. For the first time ever, I found a list where the CCNA is not on the list. Say what? Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. So, on the CBT Nuggets website, one of their blogs here recently is titled The Five Search You'll Need for Success in IT. I'll put a link to this blog in the description. I'm not going to cover the whole blog. What I plan to do is just talk about the list and hopefully get your thoughts. So one of the things I talked about, I say one of my first videos is how the CCNA changed my life. Well, every list I've pretty much ever seen, you know, the CCNA has been on it. Please feel free to check this blog out for yourself. But basically, the number one cert it said you'll need is the A+, which if you don't have any IT background, I would say, yeah, I agree with that. A plus will definitely get you a job and get you in the field. And then it has the network plus over the CCNA. That's crazy, but it makes sense. Now, I'm not going to talk about the whole list. Let's, I want you to click the link and read this list for yourself and then come back and let's, let's have a discussion and then maybe we'll do like a live session or something to talk about it deeper. But let's start right here. Number two on the list is... It's CompTIA is Network Plus. That's crazy. Not in a bad way, but I can understand it. So with the CCNA, with the way networking is going, with pro programming software defined networks and automation and all that that Cisco is doing and plan to do, the CCNA really is changing. Even now, if you have a CCNA, it, there's so much that it does not teach you. You know, if you get a CCNA route switch, you still don't know how to configure firewalls and manage firewalls. So really, um, wireless, voice, you know, security. There's so many things you do not know. And then if you don't know like Python or SQL or Windows, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're you're kind of in a in a tough position. So I can understand why some of you struggle getting jobs. But it's possible. But anyway, I digress. Let's talk about this Network Plus. So what does the Network Plus do for you? It teaches you networking on a uh, non-proprietary level. So cross-platform, cross everything, the Network Plus is going to teach you how to network. And so the article, since it's number two on the list, it says, in every aspect of IT, you have to know networking. So having a network plus will give you a leg up because it's not just Cisco networking. You understand networking on a large screen, uh, a large scale. So with that being said, it says the exam, the network plus, it covers cloud computing, virtualization, um, networking, and all that good stuff. So just out of one certification, you get to understand some cloud computing, which you're not going to get with the CCNA. So I can understand why they have it number two on the list because cloud computing is, you know, pretty much the future. And then you talk about virtualization. We've been doing virtualization in IT for a long time. So I can definitely get this list. Now, like I said, go check the list out for yourself. Um, I have a lot of respect for CBT Nuggets. You have to understand that all the training that they provide they're getting with these corporate corporations that are huge, small, medium, and large, and putting together these training packages so they can put people out in the field, you know, and represent CBT Nuggets. So whenever they're going to create a list, it's going to have some some kind of truth to it. You know what I mean? So check this list out. And if you disagree, let me know. If you agree, let me know. And also, when I was talking about, you know, the CCNA raw switch. It's still a great start. If you're working on it, much love, much success, and if I can help, let me know. But one of the things that I will talk about with the CCNA is this. If you do not understand software-defined networking, I'm going to cover it um, here shortly, but with wireless networks, you have what you call APs. Um, you can have multiple APs all over your, your site in multiple locations, and they're managed by, let's say, one or two controllers. And you manage all those APs. Well, with the way software-defined networking works, 
rather than having to touch each and every switch or router pretty much you'll just have to touch your controller that manages those switches those routers and then you program your network that way so I can understand why the network plus is on there because Cisco is about to change the way things are done and if you don't know programming if you don't know security if you don't know voice if you don't know SQL or all these other things that you don't know you don't know Python Java we can just keep going down the list of things you might not know that company corporations are looking for you can be left behind so having a general understanding of you know what's out there will kind of give you a leg up but I just wanted to talk about this blog I want you all to feel free to go check it out and leave a comment in this section below I'm Dwan. peace